So we've got a race recap, Adelaide Marathon 2014, just a couple of days ago, did that, get some race recap. So for 120 bucks, it costs 120 dollars for me to enter. You basically get, you get a race number, and that's about it. And on the course, they give you some water and some sports drink. I don't typically like using um, South Australia Road Runners Club, their water, and it just, so generally it tastes like, some people say it tastes like paint thinner, and sometimes I agree with that. So I generally organize my own refreshments and have freely at the aid station handing me a bottle or whatever. Um, so 120 bucks, you basically get a race number, and that's what you get. And if you want a t-shirt, you buy those at 40 bucks. Um, was the event well organized? Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't get lost this time. I didn't get lost. Um, some people did get lost in the 10K. The 10K apparently become an 11.9K or whatever. <laughs> so I think South Australia Runners Club have, they've got some work to do. There's some fantastic people in that organization and there's some less than fantastic people in that organization. Some really people who are really passionate about running and some people who are really passionate about just making much, as much money as they can. But that's probably another topic, another video. Um, reason why I asked, I had my own refreshments because when I entered... I went there per in person, paid my fee, got my number, and I said, will there be sports drink sugars at every aid station? And uh, the guy there said, um, there should be. <laughs> so I like, no, I like certainty. So I said, freely, make sure each aid station after 10K, give me my sugar water, and that would keep me going. So value-wise, I've definitely ran better marathons for less money. Uh, Gold Coast Marathon, pretty well organized. Gold Coast Marathon has eight stations every three, 2.5 kilometers, Ran about, you get it's good. Gold Coast is good marathon, very very fast. Adelaide Marathon every five k's a station. Maybe you get sports drink. You should get it, <laughs> as they say. And uh, what was the course like? Course was very scenic. It's a very pretty course. I'll give it. It's a very pretty course. Very slow course. A lot of twists and turns and little hairpins and up and down the little hills and stuff like that. So it definitely wasn't a PB course um, compared to Gold Coast. If you, the fastest course I know in Australia would be Gold Coast. In July, there's a very fast course. I've done that very well organized, fantastic, just fast course. Adelaide was the half marathoners getting mixed in, and you know, I was in the lead group of marathoners, and then we sort of broke up the back and you sort of track, track, trying to get three people. It was, uh, yeah, it was all right. But if you want to do a PR, really psyched up for it, go to Gold Coast. Gold Coast would be your, t your pick, definitely. Very, very fast course. Um, so that's my main main critique there, Adelaide Marathon. I'll do another video what I ate on the day, what I wore, stuff like that. But uh, so would I recommend it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you can do it. I wouldn't say it's a fast course. I wouldn't say the organization is 100%, but it's scenic and you get to explore a bit of Adelaide. So if you're a tourist or something, yeah, but it's not a fast course. And you might you might have sports drink on the day at the aid station. You might not. <laughs> and the the water might taste like paint thinner, and it might not. So if you've got a friend who can give you water bottles at the aid station, I'd probably recommend that because that's what I personally did do. And make sure the person has to be within one meter of the aid station. I saw a few people this year getting handed water bottles outside the aid station, and that, according to South Australian Road Runners Club, instant disqualification. You will be instantly disqualified. A cheat if you have a, a water bottle or any gel out within one meter if you're 1.5 meters out of the thing disqualified you have to be within one meter of the aid station uh, I saw people getting aid outside of that I don't care I'm not gonna put a written statement on and, and dob people in for something so petty but uh but I definitely saw people getting aid outside the uh, aid stations and why not why not it's not the fucking Olympics it's just the South Australian Road Runners Club race it's all good fun so that's my comments and criticisms. Share your experience down below. What are your thoughts? And the next video will be what I ate, what I wore, and what I used during the marathon. How much EPO did I use? Let's check it out. See you soon.